Hey Steve here and in this video I'm going to show you a quick layer masking tip that you can use in Photoshop to blend multiple exposures. Normally I would be doing this and demonstrating this for creating a high dynamic range image from bracketed exposures. This time I'm going to show you how to craft the ideal composition using different exposures all taken at the same uh, exposure. So you know all the same brightness level. So we're not exposure bracketing and blending here. We're actually blending multiple images to take the best pieces from each one to create the perfect end result. So this is especially useful for seascape photography, like where you've got waves rushing in in front of the camera and you, you know, every, every frame is different and you wanna be able to capture the perfect wave in the perfect position, but sometimes it just doesn't happen in one frame. So I'm gonna show you what you can do about that in this video. Now, if you like this video and you're watching it on YouTube, then just hit that thumbs up button to let me know so that I can keep making more videos like this one. And you can subscribe to my channel, just hit the subscribe button and that little bell notification icon to make sure that YouTube notifies you each time I publish a new video. What we've got on screen at the moment, I've already blended a sky from a darker exposure. Um, so I've got two bracketed exposures. This is a dark one where we've, uh, you know, we've got the sky there and none of that is really overexposed. And then I've already blended that brightest part of the sky into this main exposure here. So if I disable the layer mask, this is the exposure by itself. And then this is with the blended sky. I'm not going to show you how to do that. I've got a hundred videos on how to blend exposures this way. Um, so, you know, we're going to actually just go beyond this and look at the next two layers that I've got loaded into the layers panel. Uh, to craft that ideal foreground. So if we look at this, what we've got, this piece of light uh, that's just reflecting on the dark part of the water here in the foreground, I really, really like how that came out. Uh, so, you know, this is really my favorite, um, you know, my favorite frame in terms of light reflecting in the foreground. But the wave, I didn't actually catch it at that perfect moment where you know, it was rushing further forward into the frame to, f to fill the frame a little bit more than it did in other exposures. So let me just show you a couple of different examples. I've got layer one here, which, you know, we've got a lot more water rushing in here. There's a lot bigger wave, but we don't have that nice light in the middle there with that nice splash. And then we've got this other one on top, which similar uh, to the layer one, but we've just got a bit more of a splash here on the right hand side that has caught a bit more of the light coming from the sun. So what I'm going to do is take the best bits of layers one and two and blend them into the main exposure here. And it's quite simple. So we'll just add a layer mask um, and I'm going to hold on the keyboard alt or option so that when I add the layer mask, it's going to create it uh, black. So we're essentially hiding this layer. I'm just going to take a white brush and it can probably do this on a high opacity. I'll, I'll give 100% a go on the opacity and I'll just zoom out a bit. Uh, and I'm just going to brush in the parts that I want to brush from this, uh, this exposure here. So I'm just going to reveal those waves rushing through the foreground here in the bottom right. Maybe over here as well. Trying not to uh, remove the splash from the main exposure. Uh, and then we've got some down in the bottom here. So that's just filling the frame a little bit more. And down here. So let's look at what that gives us. So this is the original layer. And now this is with those extra splashy bits borrowed from the, uh, from the layer one. Uh, let me just reduce the opacity to about 50% and see if I can blend this little bit in here without removing too much of the main layer. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, so now let's see. So we've got this other layer here not sure how much of this we'll use, um, but let's add that layer mask again and increase the brush size here. So I'm gonna try to just get a bit of that, um, that splash there with a bit more of that sunlight on it. And you know, if you do this yourself, you might want to give it a couple of goes just to make sure you get the right amount of, uh, you know, of, of splash and just to make sure the waves don't look too uh, fake, <laughs> I guess is what it is essentially. But you know, I kind of I believe that you can get away with this kind of thing because all we're doing here is um, you know when you when you have a two second exposure, you know what's to say that that is uh, you know 
a, a true realistic capture compared to something that is a you know a snapshot of a fraction of a second um, all we're doing here is really creating a longer exposure so you know we're just recording this scene over a longer amount of time so let's have a look now at the original layer again so this is the main layer we've got that nice bit of uh, light in the middle and then let's start with this second layer so we've just actually kind of swapped that upwards bit of splashy water with a another bit here that just seems to have caught a bit more of sunlight uh, and then this layer here which just extends those waves down into the foreground even more to fill the frame uh, so that's the main part of the tip uh, or the main part of the tutorial that I wanted to share with you today so for those of you who use my luminosity masking panel then um, yeah here's just a quick example of some of the functions uh, that it gives you and how it can uh, be used to really enhance an image like this uh, really quickly and simply. So I'm not going to dive too deep into how this is all working. I'm just going to show you the quick step by step. So the first thing I'll do is um, warm the highlights. So I'm just going to press the highlight one button here on the luminosity selection panel. The preview is going to show us the parts of uh, the image that this effect is going to um, affect. So the highlights there. Uh, and then scrolling down in the color section, I'm just going to hit the warm button. And that is going to generate that warming filter with the highlights luminosity mask loaded into the uh, layer mask. So here, this is before, this is after. It's a real subtle warm uh, effect, but I actually quite like it. Now we can open this folder here and select the the actual adjustment layer here that's adding this effect and just increase the opacity there so um, this is basically just warming even more so the default value is 35 percent that it gets added there so if you want to increase you can do that that way so this is the before and after on that warming effect and that's already had a really nice uh, a really nice effect uh, let's do the same thing using the autumn effect so um, this is another effect that works really well with this type of image. So I'm going to click one here to uh, activate the highlights. And then again, I'm going to come down to effects and then click the autumn button. That's going to do the same thing. It's going to create that autumn effect layer and mask it into the highlights. So here's the before, here's the after. It's just a real subtle softening, glowing effect. Uh, and then finally, we're not going to mask this in uh, with a luminosity mask this time we're just going to create uh, a sun haze effect layer and with a white brush now on about 30 percent opacity i'm just going to click once on the brightest part of the sky so where the sun is kind of coming from and then i'm going to increase the brush size do it again and increase the brush size do it again maybe one more time and that adds a nice hazy effect that when we toggle it off and on you can probably see it a bit better uh, and we can tone this down now with the opacity of this uh, layer group you can basically fine tune it to the level that you want just using the opacity of this um, but that is you know, it's a really nice effect I like how this kind of uh, gives it a nice soft glow and you know it's a way to increase the sort of dynamic light coming from the sun there without it being too harsh and uh, you know too much of a sort of hard light so there we go that pretty much wraps the uh, these extra effects up that i wanted to show you so let me just show you the before and after on this just with these three simple adjustments using the panel here's the before uh, so, you know, it's already, it's, it's a nice looking shot, but it is a little bit on the cool side. And just with these three simple adjustments using the panel, it's kind of given it a really nice warm glow and just added that hazy effect to, uh, to increase the sort of misty, hazy sunlight that can, um, you know, that can often be the case at sunrise at, on, on the coast. So, yeah, uh, with that, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And I'll see you next time.